Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Erica and this is Tiny Acorn. I post videos all about vintage, thrifting, and mixing modern and sustainable clothing together in your wardrobe. And I post videos every Thursday at 8 a.m. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that bell down below and subscribe. That way you will get notified every time I post a new video. So for today's video, I'm excited to put together a bunch of summer outfits that will hopefully get you guys inspired for dressing this summer. And it has been a little bit more difficult for me dressing my body because I am 29 weeks pregnant right now. And so certain things that I would have worn in the past aren't fitting me. I've been wearing a lot of dresses lately and skirts. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing this maternity friendly summer outfit lookbook. So stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. of this video I wanted to share our sponsor for today's video okay so a while back I posted my top 10 wardrobe staples video it's really fun go check it out if you haven't already at the end of that video I listed my top five pairs of shoes and one of those pairs of shoes was a pair of clogs that I had owned since 2005 they were super beat up and I had mentioned that I really wanted to find a new pair of clogs so you guys I found a clog brand that I'm really excited to work with and they are called Sandgren's clogs okay so these shoes are handcrafted in Sweden and they've been around since 1846 and so they have perfected the art of the clog they make all handcrafted clogs out of natural materials and each clog takes 24 hours to make so these are made with a wooden heel um, but honestly it's really light they have this beautiful leather on the top um, with a little owl it's so cute and I love that they have the rubber on the bottom because it makes it so much more comfortable and easy to walk in, which you definitely need. They have so many different cute styles of clogs on their website, including like closed toed ones and boot ones and everything. So I just went ahead and picked out three pairs that I'm going to show you right now that are all pretty similar, but I picked them based off of what I thought that I would wear the most in my wardrobe. And I'm going to put links down below for all of these shoes. This one is called the Rio Grande and it's the one that has kind of like the woven toe at the end and it's open toed here. So there's three different heel heights. There's the low, there's the high, and then there's the high rise. It is the low. I really needed a sandal that was this specific color in my wardrobe. I think nude just goes with everything. I would highly recommend invest in the color that you can wear with everything. The next pair that I got was the Rio Grande in the high heels. You can see the heel difference here. And so I picked this sand color. I got this in this color because I have a pair of white strappy heels that I wear a lot, but they're a little bit too high a little bit too fancy and I wanted something that could kind of go from day to night and I picked a higher heel because I knew that I could dress these up or I could dress them down if I wanted and that's what I really like about the the high heel height these are gonna get a lot of use in my wardrobe okay the last one I picked out is this classic black Rio Grande in the high rise so you can see the difference in the heel height here between the high and the high rise. So these two pairs I ended up getting in a size 38 and then I got a 37 in this pair because the 38 was too big. I think that's because of the slope of the shoe and your foot um, going down more. So just to note on that, you might consider sizing down for the high rise 
yeah, I love these shoes. I'm gonna use them all in my video today for all of my outfits. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So for this first summer look, I have this gorgeous vintage prairie dress that I paired with my Rio Grande clogs in the color nude. I went ahead and belted the dress to give my body a little bit more shape, paired it with my Dear Survivor leather purse and my favorite thrifted straw hat. And it just makes really cute, fun summer picnic look. Maybe it's just because I'm pregnant, but this outfit reminds me of Sherbert ice cream. I wore this tie-dye wrap midi dress from the brand Velocian. Here I paired it with my clogs in the color sand. And so it's a lighter color and I like how it goes with the earrings uh, that I'm wearing and just the overall feel of the outfit. And then I went ahead and paired my thrifted basket bag with it. So this next dress is a really fun one by the brand Veta. They're a sustainable clothing brand and they make lots of versatile pieces. So this dress can be worn as a maxi dress like I have here or a shorter dress, which you'll see in the next outfit. I love the tiered look. Paired it here with my basket bag as well as my thrifted hat. So here you can see the same dress just with the bottom half removed and I paired it with my black Rio Grands and a little black basket clutch that I think gives it a fancier date night type of look. Okay, this outfit might be my favorite so far just because I've really been feeling orange lately. I thrifted this dress at Crossroads on my Thrift With Me at Crossroads video on my IGTV. It's a Zara off the shoulder number, super cute. I paired it here with my latest thrift find, this beautiful little tote and my nude clogs. So one of my favorite styling tricks is wearing a skirt over the top of a dress. So I took that same dress and I put this beautiful little vintage blue skirt that I got from my friend Liv at Able Shop over the top and I paired it with my sand colored clogs. You can also wear the dress off the shoulder and I love this option too. Um, and then I have on the same little thrifted tote and then I put my Dear Survivor geometric orange earrings on. So this is a fun blue and orange look that I like to call blorange. <laughs> All right, so this next look, I went ahead and put this thrifted black and white striped bodysuit on and threw on my absolute favorite black skirt from this brand called Modern Citizen out of San Francisco. It's a gorgeous placé skirt. And I paired it here with my Rio Grands in the color black. Red lip, hat, woven bag, and the outfit's complete. Such a fun look. I love it whenever I get to wear this beautiful salmon colored embroidered dress. This is a vintage piece that I got in one of my thrifting videos, thrifting for summer weddings. And I will link that for you guys above. I threw on this cute little white purse that is vintage from one of my other thrifting videos, Thrift With Me in the Mountains. And then I just threw on the Rio Grande in the color nude. And I think the outfit is so fun and cheerful. This could be one of my absolute all time favorite vintage dresses. I love the bandana print on this. And now that I'm pregnant, it's getting way, way tighter and this might be the last time I can wear it. But here for this look, I paired it with some really neutral accessories, my clogs in the color sand and a hat and a purse. Here's another look that I just adore. I'm wearing this gorgeous vintage embroidered blouse. Paired it here with one of my favorite denim skirts from Curator SF and a thrifted bucket bag. This outfit is kind of all about the accessories. I wanted to try this scarf trend and tie it around my head in a different way. And then I paired it with these thrifted 70s sunglasses that I absolutely love. Put on a white simple dress and then my nude Rio Grande clogs. 
This outfit is based around this a black dress from the sustainable brand Tradlands. I paired it here with the Rio Grande in black and then I put some neutral accessories with it. So this purse was actually my mom's from the 80s that I stole and then I have this cute little woven necklace that I accessorized it with. So I love a good green outfit. And this dress is one that I thrifted from Thread Up. It is a Zara dress. And I paired it here with my thrifted basket clutch, my Rio Grande in the color sand, and then just some simple tortoise shell hoops from the brand Shop Machette and a red lip. And I put my hair back in a ponytail for a different, more like elegant look. This has been one of my favorite dresses to wear while I'm pregnant. I thrifted this when I was in Europe. And here I paired it with my Able bag, which is a nice orangey leather. And then I paired it with the Rio Grande in the color sand. I love how like minimal this outfit is, but it's still really cute because the dress has a lot of really great details like pockets and buttons down the front. Here's a little fancy look for you guys. This is a black dress that I got from the brand Abel. They're an ethical clothing company that helps women. Um, and here I just kept it really simple. I used a really fun fuzzy mustard clutch that I got from Target and my black heels and then my tortoise shell earrings. So if you're looking for what to wear for the 4th of July, <laughs> this is the perfect outfit. <laughs> I thrifted this skirt a while back and it's a red, white, and blue. And so I thought it'd be great to just choose one of those colors to match my blouse with. So I'm wearing this thrifted tank top and then I just put a bunch of neutral accessories with it. The hat and the purse are also thrifted and then I put my Rio Grande in the color sand with it. I love the minimalist look of this outfit. So these Polymer clay earrings are some of my favorite to wear and I think that they just elevate any look. Here I'm wearing it just with a simple shift dress that I got from Target specifically for my pregnancy. It's been very comfortable to wear. And then I have my thrifted bucket bag and my sand Rio Grande clogs. And I think that the outfit is so cute. Okay, so this olive green color is one of my favorites. I know not a lot of people like this color, but I adore it. I got this dress and this hat from Buffalo Exchange, paired it here with a little coach purse that I picked up at a thrift store years ago for a couple bucks, and my Rio Grande in the color black. And then I did the whole skirt over the dress trick, and I paired the Modern Citizen skirt over the top of this dress, just switched out the accessories for a simple black clutch, and I feel like I'm ready to go out on a date with this outfit. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got some inspiration from seeing all these different outfit combos. If you're not already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of different ouds and outfit content and IGTVs and things like that. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And ladies, remember that you are beautiful just the way you are.